Welcome to Six Figs. I'm Kyle. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about some absolute madness happening within the internet computer ecosystem. I've never seen anything quite like this. We'll talk about the DeepSeek AI development. We'll hit the charts like EXE, Bob Kong, ICP, and Bill, folks. Now, back to DeepSeek AI. And why is this important for Definity? Why is this important for the community, the internet computer? Well, DeepSeek AI is a Chinese artificial intelligence company who has, according to MSpeed, chosen their first AI agent to run on the internet computer. So this huge AI company has chosen the internet computer to run their AI agent. What exactly is an AI agent? Well, it's something where it can basically be programmed to assist humans. It can assist other software. It's like its own autonomous vehicle that can make decisions. It can be in the form of a trading bot. It could run some sort of algorithm. It's very similar to what we have on ChatGPT, where you can write it a prompt and it will just automatically develop a response. The fact that this agent is running on the internet computer gives credibility to the entire world about Definity's capabilities, about the internet computer's capabilities, and it basically shows everyone that this could quite possibly be the best Web3 application to run an AI agent on. So this is very, very bullish. I don't think that we're gonna see any crazy price action happen because of this. But imagine when multiple AI agents are deployed on Definity's blockchain and they start burning cycles, burning ICP, things like that. I feel like we could be seeing a longer term increased growth impact uh, from applications like DeepSeek AI running on the IC. Now, there are some very unfortunate things that happen with Bill Token. Gosh, I wanted to be so bullish on this thing, too. Uh, Shield Gates, I don't think, ha has anything to do with the foul play or anything here. He's been very straight and narrow for uh, the Internet computer. As far as I'm concerned, uh, his capabilities are far superior, if not some of the most superior uh, skills as far as, like, developer goes on the internet computer. So, um, you know, there was an instance where uh, somebody was able to their mint bill and drain the liquidity pools. This was very unfortunate, right? So this, this happens in crypto. So we got to like understand that um, this is a great lesson for people to never go 100% in on a single token, right? We saw this happen with Luna. We saw this happen with FTX. We saw this happen with so many other projects. That is why it's important to diversify. Uh, it's unfortunate that this happened, but we must move on as a community. Now, hit me up if you guys want direct contact with me. Go on Open Chat, search for the FOMO Factory, or scan this QR code. Cost is one ICP, and that's just to eliminate the spammers. But this is a place where I'm dropping all sorts of charts and things like that early on for my members. So by the time you see this video, we could have already made a few trades within um, this, uh, this, this chat room. So uh, one other thing I wanted to tell you guys about was JeetBot, folks. This is coming to market. This is a Solana token. This is going to be fiery. I can promise you that. Now, I'll have something to do with the tiers and the referral system. So you're going to want to uh, get a hold of me to get a referral when that time comes. Best place is probably going to be in the FOMO factory. But keep your eyes out for this, okay? Now, the markets are absolute crap right now. And I've seen a lot of whining and complaining across all the ecosystems, not just the ICP. A lot of people are upset about the markets, right? Now, the last time the last bull run happened, Bitcoin retraced like 20% 50 times. Something crazy like that. We're going to see a lot more of these dramatic drops and dips the higher up the market goes, right? It will just catch you off guard uh, at any given moment. 
um, we have panned up 950%, which I did, in fact, uh, buy a little bag of that today for a more long-term hold. This is basically uh, with, uh, basically relates to uh, DeepSeek AI. Uh, so this is going to be very interesting to see how this token um, performs over like the next six months to a year. I really don't have any uh, short-term plans on trading it or selling it unless the price just goes absolutely crazy. We'll talk about ICP here in just a second. But KongSwap, folks, the last few days, people have been buying the dips, and we've seen a lot of dramatic stuff happening with the market. But right now, the price action is pretty far from this Ichimoku cloud. And I do think that there might be a chance that we see this price rebound up to at least the 0.0463-ish level. And folks, I do think that there might be an opportunity for some sort of inverse head and shoulders to happen here, not financial or trading advice, but that's kind of what I'm eyeing up right now for Kong. And you guys can visit them on kongswap.io. Uh, Bob, folks, is still in this cup and handle formation. I might pick up a little bit more Bob actually, um, because I do think that this thing is really setting up for a run if it can survive this crazy madness uh, happening in uh, the IC right now. Unfortunately, EXC has taken a spill. Um, it just is what it is. Right now we have seen the price dip down to at least seven, eight cents. This thing, if you see it break lower than six cents, be on the lookout. But for the most part, it's somewhat respecting the gone fans, even with um, this price action dump and things like that. Um, so we'll have to keep a close eye on EXE. Uh, once uh, the whole bill thing happened, I was able to get out of my position, uh, thankfully, but there were many who were not. So we'll keep a close eye on EXE. I think it's still a good project. I, I really do. So uh, Shill Gates has done more for the ICP community than probably anyone can shake a stick at when it comes to deving and things like that. ICP, folks, is in this very interesting uh, symmetrical triangle pattern, right? So I do think that right now we are gearing up to see ICP possibly form a reversal now when I was laying in bed, I got up at 3 a.m. this morning, and I couldn't sleep. And someone out of the blue DM'd me and said, well, how far do you think this thing could go? As far, like, how low? I said, well, I'm kind of looking at, like, the 790, uh, 770 level. That is kind of where my mind is telling me that we could see a dip down to. Um, but when we really line up some of these trend lines, folks, I do think that the dip might have already happened down to about $8.10. I do think that on this daily chart, price action is pretty far from this Ichimoku cloud. Now, on the daily chart, folks, we are seeing price action prep for what is known as a death cross, okay? Now, death cross doesn't always mean that we're going to see the temperature or the market price plummet. We are possibly going to see a reversal. Um, you can see where the golden cross, that is typically something that somebody or some people would associate with a bullish um, you know, signal. Well, here's a golden crass, cross. Well, what happened a couple days later? The price dumped. So the fact that we've got a, a death cross happening, I've seen plenty of times where the price reverses shortly after. Here is uh, an exa excellent example. You know, uh, a couple weeks later, we got a very nice reversal of price. So I do think that right now, as long as things don't get absolutely insane with ICP, we could be gearing up for a reversal. Obviously, if there is anything trading under like $8.10, somewhere in there, you may need to check back on this channel and we'll reevaluate the markets, which are not financial or trading advice, baby. Now, hit me up on the FOMO Factory and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.